Before we can get this running, we got to fix the carburetor. Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I took the carburetor off the Sears alternator. Now, it's a Tecumseh engine, and I don't have all the part numbers for the Tecumseh engine, so I was kind of stumped. I needed a carb rebuild kit because this one's got some missing pieces and it needed to have some new gaskets in it because it leaked like a sieve. So I went down to Kalamazoo Lawn and Garden Supply and picked up a rebuild kit. Pull off this filter shroud. Somebody's replaced the screws on this thing because this is the wrong size screw. That head is supposed to slip through there just like this one does. That way the screws don't get lost when you take the cover off. Loosen the screws up, turn the cover, pull it off. So I'll have to come up with a proper size screw. In the meantime, we'll just put it in the parts box. I'll take these two screws out here if I can get them to come out. Ah, there they went. Somebody's worked on this card. That choke plate is bent. They usually only bend if somebody's taken it out or reefed on it way too hard. And this one is bent the wrong direction for that to have happened. 7 16 box in. This is a brass screw and you don't want to use a open end on it unless you absolutely have to. Ideally a six point wrench or a six point socket would be better. But it came apart fairly easily. Now I look in the parts kit and it came with a new seat. So this piece is pretty much junk. Pull that off, and there's a little rubber seal on the bottom of that that was leaking. And there's some dirt in the bottom of the bowl. So we'll take that out and clean the bowl. And this rubber seal is supposed to be flexible enough to seal off the bowl, but it's obviously coming apart in pieces. It's way too brittle. We have a new one in the carb kit. Put a pin punch in the vise, just because it's a nice flat spot. And I use that to push up on that plunger. Now with that sitting on top of that pin, I'm able to push down on the spring and when I release it, the spring goes up, the little keeper comes off, and the little plunger falls out the bottom. Now we continue on with the disassembly. Now this floats held in place with a little pin, and it just slips in there, it's captured by the bowl. You want to do this over a bench where you got something to catch all your pieces. When you take that pin out, there's a little spring and a plunger. And that plunger was stuck. Normally that's supposed to just fall loose. It's got a little keeper spring on there that holds it on to this float. So when you pull the float out, usually this pulls out and if you're not watching, it'll drop. Now I'm going to remove the idle screw. We have a replacement for this. Pull this choke plate out. Put 
At least that's the theory. That screw is badly screwed up. Afraid I'm not going to be able to get that to come loose. Nope, it's just stripping out the slot on the head. Well, so much for that idea. The screw on the choke plate is stripped out and it's too tight to remove. I'll see if I can do anything with the throttle plate. Nope. Both of those are in there way too solid to monkey with. I'm going to put them in some mineral spirits, see if I can get them to soak a little bit, maybe come loose. I'd like to get them out of there. Not a requirement that I do that, but I would like to. If nothing else, I'd like to straighten out that plate. Okay, I've got the bits and pieces off the body. Now I'm going to soak the body, the float, and the bowl in some mineral spirits. I like using odorless mineral spirits because there's no smell in it. The reason they put the odor in mineral spirits is so you don't drink it because it looks like water, has no taste. So you don't know that it's mineral spirits and if you by accident put it into something that looks like a drinking glass, then somebody could drink it down. And mineral spirits is poisonous. It's not good for you. So now we let everything sit for a while. Then we'll come back and look at it later. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know, I read them all. Thanks for watching.